Hey lovely friends, I'm so happy to be back with another video. It is day 2 of Cherry Streets. The other day, we started with my 2023 bullet journal setup video. And today, I am excited to be showing you how you can customize the very cover of your own bullet journal or any notebook you would like to upcycle or personalize. But before that, let's open this huge box of markers from Karin. They were so kind to send these, so huge thanks to them as well. And I didn't expect it to be quite this heavy, which got me so curious. So let's do some unboxing session first and see what's inside. So we have three separate boxes here. The first item I pulled out is the Deco Brush Metallic Markers. It is a set of 10 and they come in a tin box. These are non-toxic metallic pigment that can be used on white and black surfaces. I think these would be great for adding shimmer to your designs or calligraphy but as much as I want to try everything out in this video, I decided to do a separate video of it. But onto the second item is the Brush Marker Pro Mega Box Plus with 72 colors and 3 blender brush pens. I really like how stylish and functional the packaging is. These are also available in smaller sets. And I will be doing a separate video for this too. But I'm glad they also sent this over so I can show you our giveaway prize for today's video. And this is it! This whole box with a bunch of pens and nice colors. I am so excited for everyone participating this giveaway and as always, the important steps to enter are listed on the video description so make sure to check it out. Now let's see what's inside this third box. Okay, so this is the pigment deco brush which are opaque acrylic paint markers with flexible brush tip. This is going to be my first time trying out Karin markers and I was looking forward to trying these specific markers because I have tried acrylic paint pens before like the Posca paint pens and the Archer and Olive acrylograph pens that has bullet tips so coming across the possibility of an acrylic paint marker having a flexible brush tip is a dream. <laughs> anyway, these are available in 84 colors, 7 color collections, and 3 sets. So we have here the professional set that has 5 color collections. We have the basic colors, passion colors, violet blue colors, nature colors, and nude colors. Each collection has their own box that you can easily pull out and back like a drawer, which is really cool. Okay, let's take the basic colors first. Opening it, we have this section for swatching. And I really like the idea of having a place in the packaging for color swatches. It's just a brilliant way to utilize them. There are also directions for use and a customization kit. I also like that they thought of including something like this because you might be someone who likes to arrange markers according to their color family or shades or creating your go-to set colors. So it says here that you can swap the markers between the boxes, then you can use this kit to cover the original names and colors both on the inside and outside of the boxes. 
and then we have 12 markers that are nicely spaced and placed inside the slots these contain acrylic paints which means they are permanent or waterproof and opaque we will test how opaque these are in a moment but like any paint marker these needs to be shaken first and before every use And since we have 60 markers here, instead of shaking them one by one, we can save our time by turning the box, making sure the pins are pointing downwards. Okay, that was very convenient. Another thing that I like about this is that you don't need to activate them like the Posca paints for example where you have to press and pump the nib against the surface until the ink flows. But this one, there is ink already on the brush tip. Alright, so let's do some swatches of the colors on the swatching palette here. I really like the variety of colors. My favorite would be the Nature Collection. Some colors are also close to another, so I think they would be nice to blend. I must say they are surprisingly juicy. In terms of the opacity, I find some to be opaque than the others. Some needs to be layered more to achieve the level that I like, especially on the black surface. These markers are said to be applicable in various surfaces such as glass, paper, plastic, wood, stone, and canvas, and the results may also vary. The surface of this packaging has a bit of gloss on it, so we can see a bit of sheen here, and it can take some time to dry, but I'm going to show you how it looks when applied on a copy paper. And here we can see a flat or matte result because the paper absorbs the ink nicely. So these pens are perfect to use for our creative project for today and that is customizing a bullet journal or a blank notebook cover. I will be designing this notebook with white fall leather cover. This is actually one of my collaboration notebooks from the brand called Maisie Lane Co who was also doing personalized journals. However, this and their entire journal line is not available anymore, but I'm happy that I still got to receive a sample of my collaboration notebooks. I just finished using the other one as my bullet journal for 2022. Since the cover of this notebook has a high gloss, I'm going to prep the front cover first. And because I only have one of this and I don't have another fall leather surface to practice and to see how it looks, I did some research and I read somewhere that there may be tendencies for the paint to crack. So just to be on the safe side, I decided to prime it using a clear gesso. I haven't tried this before but it is said to provide a slightly more absorbent surface to work on. I have this particular brand available near me and I also got a bigger flat brush so it is easier and faster to apply. Here I am taping the edges of the front cover. I actually could have taped the spine only and cover the entire front cover with gesso but I was late to realize that <laughs> I will be coating the surface twice and I also want to have a smooth layer so I'm going to thin the gesso by damping my brush with water. 
Then I'm just spreading it out nicely. I'm going over the surface enough times with the brush to make the gesso sink evenly and I'm doing two layers of coat. It also takes some time to dry so to speed it up, I used a hair dryer. It's time to remove the washi tapes and you can actually see the dried gesso and the edges of the fall leather cover that are not coated. We now have a paper-like surface to work with the pigment deco brushes on. I drew my illustration of this girl with a book with poppies on a separate piece of paper. This was inspired by Heather Penn's Co and Poppies illustration. So I'm placing this on top and transfer it on the cover and you can use a graphite paper to transfer it easily. Okay, the transfer is done. Now we can start the coloring process. We are starting from the girl and I'm using the soft peach number 2 from the nude color collection to color the skin. Next is the sandstone for the hair. I thought the skin color that I went with was too pinkish for me so I took another color from the nude collection called blush and layered it again to make it stand out from the background later. Moving on to the outfit, I'm using the pale orange for the top and then the dress using the cool aqua from the violet blue color collection.
I added another layer on the dress afterwards to make it more opaque. And then for the book she's holding, I'm coloring it with fire red from the passion colors. So this is just the base of the figure. Now we're going to add some more details and dimension. I'm working on the hair to add highlights using the cinnamon color from the Nature Collection and shadows using the sepia from Nude Collection. For the facial features, I wanted to draw thinner details, so I decided to use my detail brush since the area is quite small. I'm using the same sepia color and what I did is just picking up the pigment from the tip, then I painted the nose and brow. I almost forgot to add the shadows on the face, but I'm using the Praline of Nude Collection. I applied it on the curves of the hair on the left side, onto her neck, the collarbone, and on the eye. We will be adding the rest of the skin shadows later, but let's finish the whole face first. I'm using black for the eyelashes, then a soft peach number one, and peach for the cheeks and a bit on the nose. And then the lips with fire red. What we are trying to achieve here is something like a cartoon style. I think this is a great style for any levels to create. Now we are just adding more of the shadows to the skin with the praline and I'm still using the detail brush here to soften them especially on the elbow. Then I added some dark outlines as well. On the outfit, I'm taking darker shades as well to add shadows. I used rosewood from nude colors for the top and turquoise from basic colors. You know, there is a manual for these pens like I showed in the unboxing part and it includes how to blend colors and create tonal transitions but I got carried away with this brush but I will surely try it on another drawing soon. Now we are done with the character illustration, we are moving on to the poppies. I'm using three shades, bright orange, peach, and gold, and I'm working from the bottom of the flower using the darkest, blending it with the mid-tone, going upwards, and finishing it with the lightest.
We have some small buds and blooming poppies with different sizes and we are just doing the same technique to each of them. As for the leaves, I'm using two tones, lime green and lush green. I colored the base with lime green, then I'm blending the lush green with the help of my small brush, mainly on the inner parts of the leaves toward the stems and the receptacle of the flowers or the green part that hold the petals. After that, I drew an oval frame background using the soft peach number one. And then I just added outlines to the flowers and leaves for the final touches. And that is it! This was such a fun project. If you're also keen to customize your own notebook or bullet journal, I know you will be successful even if you're just getting started whether you want to follow this illustration or something else using acrylic markers. And before we go, don't forget to subscribe and join today's Cherry Streets giveaway with Karin, which is a massive brush pen set. I am so excited for the lucky person to receive this Brush Pro Marker Mega Box Plus. All the steps to enter are listed on the video description, so check it out below. Good luck and thank you for hanging out with me today. But that is all for now. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you soon on Cherry Streets Day 3. Bye everyone!